I read in the news that many people think that 2016 was one of the worst years ever. And uh, it, it really made me reflect on how, on a descriptive level, I can understand exactly, yet with the context of this training and empowerment network, when I look at my direct experience while feeling everything fully, yeah, it's not a detached state of I'm so happy and I don't give a mm, about the world. It's really the in the complete relaxation that is available, I could really see since I've started with the Balance View training, which was around 10 years ago, an increasing in potency, increase in relief, cheer that does not depend on circumstances, stability that I've never imagined before. And the skillful means to be in every time, place and circumstance and to respond to it uh, for the benefit of the situation, for the benefit of all. So for me, when I concluded 2016 at 11.59 p.m., uh, I said, wow, it was a, an amazing year, a year of discovery, a year of expansion and a deeper connection to everyone, everywhere. So that was my uh, New Year's uh, conclusion. And I know and I can guarantee to myself that as long as I continue with uh, short moments and with open intelligence and, and the balanced view, I can say it each year. It's just the best year ever, the best day ever. And while it can sound a bit like cheesy, or corny, like what, what are you talking about, and, or romantic or something like that. When we look at our own direct experience, we can see that there is innate stability, clarity and potency. And in balanced view, in order to introduce ourselves very directly without any baggage of, you know, ideologies from the past or con confused labels and terms that we don't understand, we try to just be straightforward and say, okay, if you want to know what the nature of your intelligence is, stop thinking for a moment and see what remains when you stop thinking. There's alertness, cognizance, which means the power to know, clarity. This is open intelligence. And when we are introduced to open intelligence, it doesn't mean that we need to hold, always hold on and not think anymore. It's just a moment of introduction, like saying, hello, open intelligence, nice to meet you. Whoa, well, you were there all the time, but I, I didn't notice. So, and then all the thoughts and emotions, they come back streaming in, right? Like, oh, did I really stop thinking for a moment? Or where is it from? And, um, <laughs> And, uh, and these are just the next thoughts, emotions, sensations, and they pose no threat. They are the natural flow of open intelligence itself. In order to get used to, so now we've been introduced, and then to gain a confidence in this open intelligence, to make it obvious in our own, very own direct experience in everyday life, we, in Balance View, speak about short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous at all times. So if we take a short moment of open intelligence to recognize this open intelligence, regardless of which thought, emotion or sensation we have right now, it's obvious for a short moment and then again we are maybe lost in a world of description because the habit is quite heavy duty. For many of us it's decades of looking at our data streams, yeah, thoughts, emotions and sensations, labeling them, indulging in them, replacing them, avoiding them. That's, it takes a lot of short moments of this practice to, to get used to a life that is really oppressive in a way, internally oppressive. Where we are our enemy, our mind seems like an enemy, unpredictable, what will pop up next and will I be able to cope with it? It's quite a scary life, whether you smile all the time or not internally. Many of us live in an internalized uh, oppression, which doesn't allow us to shine with our beneficial potency, with our innate stability that doesn't need any description to hold it on. So short moments of open intelligence is like a short moment of relaxation. Not 10 hours of relaxation in a certain position, a short moment. One, one short moment. 
when this short moment is repeated naturally during your day, whenever you remember to do so without forcing yourself, without like, you know, oh, I'm such a failure, I didn't take a short moment today. Whenever you remember, then it becomes more and more spontaneous and easy, just like part of everyday life experience. So for me, it's really incredible because like I shared, I've, I've, been doing, I've been doing this for 10 years and short moments, they do become continuous. Not that I reach some kind of a lala state that, <laughs> you know, I feel, oh, I'm, I'm so great. It's just like, ah, oh, yeah, it's obvious. It's actually obvious. Like the bright sun uh, feeling space. It's obvious and it doesn't need convincing or trying. Check it in your own experience, like the data streams, jumping, hoping, uh, doing all kinds of cartwheels and in between. Can we base decisions on that? Can we base life satisfaction or define our stability based on everything that is going on in our, in our intelligence in that way? It's very difficult. And I know that I've tried for many years to reach a point of stability and satisfaction by molding my experience in a certain way, trying to be someone that people will look at me in a certain way and I will have a certain idea about myself. So always to be liked, always to be smart and funny and to look good, to be popular, to never fail, never say the wrong thing. Always succeed, have loads of money, let's have loads of conventional success and all, the list continues and then you need to juggle it. And there might be moments of achieving all of that, but there are many moments where I feel like, what, what's happening? I tried so hard. Do you know what I mean? Or I'm just like <laughs> rapping here. And <laughs> so... In the complete relaxation, then we find this stability, which really allows us to stop the funny game of emphasizing our data streams. And it does take courage in the beginning. You know, initially it's, it's too good to be true almost, or it's too strange to be true, or whatever is your disposition. Regardless, keep showing up. Keep showing up to these meetings and participate to the best of your ability. I suggest a 30-day trial period. After that, that's what I did, really. Uh, and after these 30 days, if you find that your previous ideas and assumptions about the world are far better than what you discover here in the Balance View Center in Goa, go for it. You know, go and fully live a life based on descriptions and continue on to the best of your ability. That's what I did. So I said to myself, okay, it's new, strange, people are happy and shining, they look confident, I have no idea if it can apply to me. So what can I do? Okay, 30 days, like a software, when you buy a new software <laughs> and you get the money back guarantee, so why not? You know, we are used to it, it's modern, it's something that we can do. So you, I, I told to myself, I crafted my belief systems about the world for so long, I will not forget them in 30 days. So if it doesn't work, I can retreat back to them, to the cage of reification. It's comfortable, I know it, everyone will accept me almost everyone. And <laughs> but after 30 days, surprise, wow, life became so easy. <laughs> after 30 days, after one short moment, suddenly life became easy, easier. There was relief even in the midst of afflictive states, which I've never experienced before. Like usually, I always thought it's because of my background, but I, I heard uh, in the trainings that other people experience the morning time, you know, you wake up and then suddenly the world is on you kind of feeling. And uh, for me, it was like, whoa. And when I took the commitment of the 30 days trial, then I said, wait, I can actually, this is a reminder for me, you know, the morning depression or sadness or whatever you want to call it. This data stream, the scary one that in the past would lead me to a whole day of descriptions and entire world. Okay, wait, it's actually a reminder. I'm going to test it. What are they talking about? What will happen if I will allow the data stream to be as it is? It can be extreme happiness as well. It doesn't mean that all of us need to wake up depressed in order to recognize open intelligence. So when we try that, it's suddenly, okay, that's relief. It's like the heavy load of 
micromanaging one's experience drops to the ground. And th there's relief there. There's benefit to oneself and there's benefit to all. And gradually we gain confidence in that one moment at a time. It's just logical. Like anything we learned in life, it takes short moments and it takes proper support to make it obvious in our own direct experience. Think about how you learn to walk or ride a bicycle or learn a foreign language. Short moments of this made it obvious. Same, same. Doesn't need to be complicated. Why to complicate the most essential knowledge of all, like what it means to be a human being and what are we supposed to do in 2017 or in an entire lifetime? The data streams that we have, some you might label great, other you might uh, label not so great, others you might label neutral, you know, the ones you don't really notice. So in balanced view we say and we get to experience in short moments how these data streams, regardless of the labels shining or not, they're all shining in open intelligence. Inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. This inseparability is key and that's where we rest potently in a short moment. Not two things, you know, many people speak about observing our data streams, looking at them, detaching, accepting, rejecting, all of that. What's happening is just the one mighty flow of benefit. And we get aligned with that, we get to know it in our own direct experience. And it, it's such an amazing relief. Like my parents are here now in India. In the past, I would be full of ideas of how they should behave, why I have the current data streams that I have, it's because of them, I need to fix them in order to fix myself, blame them, da 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 da. Now we are together and there's just openness, open-heartedness, simplicity. The ability to know how to respond in respect and dignity. To cherish this relationship rather than be a victim of it. My parents are not the ones to, to blame for my data streams. I'm not the one to blame for my kind of data streams. I gave up the right to be a victim of my data streams. And this is one of the gifts of this training. We give up the right to be a victim of random descriptions. Who knows what you're thinking now? You all have like half smile because you think about your worst cheeky ones. You know, like the ones that are like, eh, eh, I hope the person next to me doesn't see that. But who cares, you know? While we allow everything to be as it is, there's growing responsibility to enact our beneficial potency. So there's no extremes going on here where, oh, let's allow everything be as it is and just like, you know, <laughs> spew all our data streams and our actions and our speech in a very primitive way because this is freedom. Have you heard about similar approaches? <laughs> I try them. You know, just saying whatever I want to say, because that's my honesty. <laughs> but, uh, and deal with it, whether you want it or not. So, but true honesty is the benefit of all, is allowing data streams to be as they are. So you see, there's innate responsibility in each one of us, like a basic, most basic, essential human right in each one of us that is empowered through short moments. And not only that in balanced view, you know, it's not just like a practice and see you. There's an entire empowerment network, like buying a new software or a new device, you hope that there will be proper support 24 seven, done in balanced view existing, you know, that there will be manuals and trainings and texts that will support you to gain confidence in this new knowledge. It's happening in balanced view. And also that there will be people that know what they're talking about and can share their experience with you to customize the, the, the beauties and richness of open intelligence to make it more obvious in your everyday life. So in Balanced View we call it the, this uh, package of empowerment and support we call the four mainstays. Training, the, sorry, short moments, the training, the trainer and community. All of them together make life so easy make it so easy for ourselves to, to gain confidence and complete assurance in that. 
then it's up to each one of us who is sitting here. Okay, it's interesting, right? Or not. <laughs> but, you know, you might think it's interesting. And then, am I willing to try something new? And many of you are sitting here and globally, we have a, a global community of empowered people. All started in a certain way. Some people got it immediately. They just saw the title, the ba balanced view for the benefit of all, and they were like, woohoo, done. The search is over. I'm an empowered human being, finished, kaput, done. <laughs> for other people, it, like me, it took time. Uh, I wasn't convinced immediately. I was more convinced by my, uh, great, uh, by my great ideas before. So I wasn't like, oh yeah, balanced view, amazing. Wow, I love it. I will give everything to try it. No. I listened to audios for three months without seeing anyone. I just listened again and again, and at one point I felt, Candice, I don't understand you so much, but I know that you're speaking the truth. And, you know, it instinctively, I, I, I just knew that she knows something that I, I want to know. And that's why I came back and then did the 12 empowerments, and then my life changed forever. Just by doing the 12 empowerments, this fundamental training where we look at all of our belief systems, assumptions, way of avoiding open intelligence, all of our relationships. When I did this training, then I knew, okay, done, game over. That was, uh, like I said, like 10 years ago. So ever since there's just an increase, like I started to share, there's increase of benefit, of potency. The ability to be clear, even when I have states or data streams that I don't like or that I don't feel comfortable with. Not trying to change them in any way. Trying to change data streams, it's, it's such a waste of time. I can sit here in forever, like clean space, you know, look at you and like fix it and oh yeah. You know, create a whole display here, nothing happens, and you will think that I'm an idiot. You know, because I waste my time on trying to improve something that already is present, already is perfect, complete. And that's what we try to do with ourselves. I'm not saying that you're idiots. Uh, but, you know, there's a waste of time going on for all of society aiming to achieve a better description. When we allow all of the descriptions to be as they are, it's like being on a mountain top, seeing everything clearly, being so solid, so confident, so clear about which action to take, how to use our mind, speech, body, qualities and activities without even thinking about it. That's how easy and powerful human life can be. And that's what we demonstrate, you know, each person who Stands up, stands up and says, okay, I really want to try it, I really want to test it. That's what we demonstrate uh, in our own direct experience.